Okay, I am in front of 123 Park Village Loop. Just came on the market. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,523 square feet. Oh, let's see. It's got some deferred maintenance. It's been a rental, so it's definitely got some deferred maintenance. We've got some peeling paint, some little spots of dry rot. You know, you can see you know but you know a good paint job good cleaning i'm just not sure if at this price point we want to go here but it's a great floor plan split plan plan um two bedrooms on one side with the bath and the master on the other but definitely you know we've got some a little bit of deferred maintenance but these homes were built by bob maxwell um, starting in 2004 I actually lived in this neighborhood um, Hemlock is the street that comes off of 9th that brings you back to this neighborhood, which is where the police department is. So it's a nice, safe neighborhood, but we've got some moss on the roof. But, you know, the roof should be, let's see, in 04, not quite 20 years old. So they were built, this was probably built in 2005 or 2006. I don't have the sheet right in front of me, but, um, you know, could be really beautiful landscaping. It just definitely needs a lot of love right now because it has been a rental. Okay. So I'm gonna walk in. The tenant is home, I know him personally, so we're gonna avoid him. You walk in, we've got a great little coat closet here. And it opens up into a great room with um, the arch that takes us down to the bedrooms, dining room with a skylight and a great open concept kitchen. Lots and lots and lots of cabinetry. Um, little pantry cabinet here, which is really nice. Lots of storage, stove, dishwasher, two basin sink, another sky in here. So lots of, um, lots of natural light in here. And this is actually set up to be a little office area with open details which is really nice. They have a covered patio surround out here, which would be nice. This would be facing due west. And this home is great because it backs up to green space. So you have a neighbor, you know, on either side, but behind you, there is nothing up there. There is a community park up there that the HOA kind of maintains, but it's not really a park, I wouldn't say that. It's more like a trail and some sitting areas is what I've been told. Believe it or not, I've never been up there. So, but nice wind protection, which is great because this is facing due west, so you're gonna get some great wind break from the west, which is, you know, those winds come from the north and the west in general. This house also has a slider, not just to the dining room, but also to that secondary bedroom, which I'll take you to next. So down the hall, as I said, that split level floor plan. So we've got bedroom number one with that slider out to that back patio. Good size closet here. We've got a linen closet here in the hall. And a nice size full bath here, single vessel sink, medicine cabinet, and then a tub shower surround. And then bedroom number two faces the front of the house, also a good size room with 1,523 square feet. It's good square footage for just being a three and two. Good size closet there. And then we're gonna come back down here and I'll take you out to the master um, bedroom. It's right here, vaulted ceilings. This is a very nice size master bedroom. Vaulted ceilings, really nice size walk-in closet with storage. And then a master bath. We're not supposed to call them masters anymore, primary bath. So double sinks. Um, oak cabinetry, you know, all builder grade. And then a step-in shower so, um, with two sink seats, but it's just the step-in. You could get a door put on that. That's what I did when I had a shower like that. So, you know, the carpet is in decent shape. It could use a good cleaning. Also another slider out to that back door. 
So that about wraps it up. I will take some pictures of the living room um, for you. Um, it's got a nice bay window, which is really nice. You know, these cabinetries, I'm gonna point this out. You know, just water dam, you know, not damage, but you know, the finish comes off. So they could use a good scrub down and a new, um, new ceiling on those around the high use areas. We've got a microwave hood combo and a four burner electric range. Pretty much everything in Florence is electric because our electric is so inexpensive here. We pay less than seven cents a kilowatt hour. Oh, I forgot to show you the laundry room. I knew I was forgetting a room. So we got a laundry room in between the kitchen and the master. So we got storage here, washer, dryer, and then out to a two car garage. I knew I forgot a room. So nice standard 20 by 20 um, unfinished garage, but you could sheetrock it if you wanted to with a man door out to that side yard, full insulated. Um, is that insulated? I can't tell now that I said that. Yeah, fully insulated um, garage door and then a window to the front. So there you go. I am not showing, um, I'm gonna take a photo of the living room because the tenant and um, the child are sitting in the living room right now. So I'm trying to be very respectful to their space and not get them on the video. So um, I'll send that as a photo.